I know it's a lot to take in. I wish I could have been with him in the end. Knowing your people would be safe gave him comfort. He went peacefully. Thank you, Lara. Our oaths have been fulfilled. What will you do now? This is still our home. We will rebuild. But there is much work to be done. There are still enemies in this valley. And there is still much to discover. Yes, there is so much more to discover in this game. I'm really, uh, weirded out by that. Didn't think there was going to be a scene there, but I, I really wanted to do the Baba Yaga stuff, and I got caught lacking because I didn't go collect the other stuff off screen while I had the opportunity to do that. So we're not going to do that at all. Now, as for stuff, I, I think there's like one or two things around here that I just didn't find. Uh, two documents, it looks like. But I don't care. I'm just going to go do the Baba Yaga stuff. Long last awaited. Oh, I do have a skill point and I can apparently upgrade a weapon. Oh my, what, what, what should I, uh, what should I get? Demolitions. Detonation. I mean, that, that sounds cool. Okay, we maxed out Hunter. I don't know. I don't know why it's, it's doing that. Yeah, let's just take that one. Compound, recurve done. I guess that's all I really care about. Oh, the ancient horn. Ancient horn. I have nothing to upgrade for that. So let's let's uh, just go back to like compound or something. Got the heavy pistol. Improved ejector will increase the rate of fire. I don't know. I, I kind of think about this shotgun here, which I can't do anything with because I need more skins. And it's not going to increase my, my damage anyway. I guess I'll just do some pistol stuff. Because whatever. And where do I have to fast travel again? Oh, it's just telling me. Right here, chasing Grandpa. I believe that's right. Let's go there. Okay, I do believe that we've already done some of this stuff and... Oh, this one was uh, way, way out of the way. But I guess it's close enough. I don't, I don't want to go through another loading screen. Just have to get down there. Are there bad guys in the way? Hey, did you get any more details about what happened underneath the cathedral? Nah, no one wants to talk about it. Croft was there, that much I know for sure, but they keep talking about phantoms wearing old suits of armor. You sure they're not just embarrassed about getting their asses handed to them by one woman? It was Croft. First in the village, then again at the attack on the tower. I know Constantine thinks so, but no way. There's no way one woman is the source of all these problems. I'm telling you, it was her. I was there. No, you weren't. We had most of the remaining natives pacified, and then she showed up. I got an angle. I don't know why that guy was claiming that he was there. Like, he would be dead if he was there. I'm just calling bullshit on what he's saying. Give me some breath. We've got company. Ah! There. Open up. Under fire. And they all died happily ever after. 
All right, now this is my uh, cave. I'm going in here to loot the Baba Yaga campaign. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm maxed out on that. Okay, so we have done some of this already in the main campaign because I just stumbled upon it and then I was like, you know what? No, I'm not I'm not doing this right now. Uh, we've already completed the uh, voice of God, so don't tell us about this anymore. Oh, I could have fast traveled right here. Man, I am super stupid. It's been a while since I've played this though. Go and take the Cedic route. And I wonder what, what we've got uh, going on in here. <coughs> Was it very long before I got the Tomb Raider experience? Like, I wasn't even pushing the buttons in the direction she went in, either. So I was kind of confuzzled there. But I didn't say anything, and then I plummeted to my death. Does this have to do this every time I come through here? Okay, okay, okay. Let's get up there. Oh, wasn't there a fast travel in there as well? Or am I just not... Do I not remember this uh, correctly? Might not be remembering this correctly. Usually there's a there's a fast travel campfire inside of the the camps or I mean the um, tubes Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god This game That's twice I got two raider Let's go this way Now I could go this way without any fear of spoiling the story or anything. What is that over there? Is that even even part of the map? Okay, this this isn't gonna help me out at all. Yeah, I think this is as far as I went. Okay, be careful. That looks like um, the Tomb Raider experience down there. Tracy Grandpa. Oh, I got a skill point out of it. Ah, oh, and there's a fast Nadia, travel campfire over I here. I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. How is it her land when it could be mine? I, I'm, I'm incredibly confused on that. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the veil to kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley, armed with men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the West, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. 
a comfortable desk in the big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth, to watch men and women work and starve and die, to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until I met her. Her? Who's that? All right, we've already gotten another skill point, so... Yeah, let's, let's just uh, resist damage. I'm actually not too keen on... I might, I might uh, get faster crafting and demolitions expert now. Yeah, those, those last two I'm not too keen on. Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here, but this looks like a big find. That discovery bonus is as good as ours. Okay, it's as good as his. Okay, this is a new environment that... There's some sort of pollen drifting in here. Flowers. What did you say? What did you say? I, I can't understand you. Something's wrong. My head is spinning and... Oh no. Oh no. It's... It's... It's too late. It's too late. This is when you die. die. <laughs> Well, everything got trippy all of a sudden. No, must be dreaming. He isn't real. I can't be. If that isn't creepy or anything, you know what? I feel right at home, actually. I think I'm just going to become a necromancer. Just keep moving. Oh, I can't even use the survival instinct here. <laughs> Laura. Laura. Dad? No, it can't be. No, wait. I'm close now. I'm close now. I'm close now. Can't run. Wait. Where am I? How, how far does this path go? It's a little confuzzling there. It's not real. Not him. Dad, stop. God, no! I've got to get out of here! Where is here? There is a truth behind the all. I just want to leave, please. No. No, this isn't. So we got a hold of the bad pollen and it made us see some really weird stuff. Someday, someday, someday. You understand, you understand. Who are you? Come and see. Well, I'm not sure there's much more I can find here because uh, Laura is just tripping all over the place. What is that, Hell's Moving Castle? That's not, not possible. It's just a myth. I'm here. I'm sorry, Laura. There is no return. You're going to rot out here. <laughs> well, we've taken on plenty of supernatural evils, so... This shouldn't be be too difficult. Oh, oh, what the fuck? 
Um, where's shotgun? Shotgun! What the fuck? Oh my god, I, they, they just like fucking come out of nowhere. Am I supposed to like get out of here? Oh no, I guess I just survived. Yes, yes, you're very angry. Oh god, don't. It's gone. We can fight the house. Not real. Yes, just jump into the water when when uh, in trouble. It's, it's it'll always work out. <laughs> I'm here, I think. What happened? You started coughing, said something about flowers and pollen, and then nothing. I thought the witch had killed you. I think I was hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There, there is a flower in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. I'm, I'm actually more the curious. This place is. I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help with her research, but that was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm really curious as to what is going on with the shotgun here, like... I guess those are supposed to be the dragon fire shells, but that's that's a really weird place to put them. Uh, okay, we got our survival vision back. Uh, there, there's actually stuff to do here. Twenty-one documents. Holy crap! <sighs> this might be a bigger area than I thought. Okay, we gotta go this way. Ah, oh, we gotta go a little farther, man. Okay, Laura, you're really, really getting annoying here. I guess I climb up to, to the top and, and go from there? Uh, I guess I don't need shotgun again. For a while, at least. Nope, I need the bow. Rip it down. That's that's not a crate. Someone's been in here recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. Smells just like the flowers. Shit! Of course. She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. There's no magic here, Nadia, just someone very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. Is this gonna be a good idea? Ah, okay. Oh, I see, I see. Is there a maximum pull there? Yeah. Looks good. Bang! We got it. Something down there? 
Am I able to get to that from here? Ah! It was sneaky. I never held my daughter. They took her from me on the surgeon's table. I tried to fight, but they are many, and I am weary. Then they dragged me away, split our three hearts apart. They have taken me to a hidden vale where ancient ruins stand. They tell me if I cooperate, I will see my family again. I will never trust these monsters, but I do not have a better plan. There are curious flowers here. Exposure to the pollen has left my captors rattled, and they will go no further than our little outpost. They brought me here in the hopes that my expertise in botany would help them find a counteragent. <laughs> At last, the state has a use for me. I nod and smile. I play the part. But they cannot break me again. For my daughter. For Ivan. I will live. But unfortunately, a supernatural terror is on the way, so you're probably going to die. All right, let's get in here. Nice, uh, nice decorations. It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Ivan and my daughter, to this strange veil. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant. The liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins. A phenothiazine derivative. The last ingredient is a risk. They have it in large quantities around the gulag, where it is used as an insecticide. It may also act as a rudimentary antipsychotic, bearing a chemical similarity to other compounds I have studied. Or it may be poisonous. I will try the mixture on myself tonight. All right. So she's like. I uh... found something. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her, and now she's going to help save Grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Laura. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. They want me to backtrack? Well, at least they gave me a fast travel point. I don't have the words to describe what I just saw. I went inside the wicked veil looking for Nadia's grandfather. I barely escaped with my life. It was like a fairy tale went through a broken, filthy mirror. Dad, I know intellectually it was all in my mind, but the gunshot is still ringing in my ears. There's something terrible going on in there, and while I don't believe that it is magic, it is extraordinary. I have to find out what's behind all this, but first, I have to find a way to see clearly. Yeah, seeing clearly is very important. So I guess I go back and, oh boy. This doesn't look fun to me. It's just like a strong box that I didn't find. All right, Nadia, I'm back at the installation. Any advice on where to start looking? Okay, first the seed pods. The flowers grow inside the caves around there. There's never enough of them to make you sick, so you should be able to gather some safely. The livers should be easy. The deer around there feed on the flowers, so you'll just need to track them down. As for the insecticide, I have an idea where we might find some. Grandpa taught me to read Russian, so I'm going through some old equipment manifests to see if I can find out where they stored it. I'll let you know when I find it. All right, I'll start gathering the other supplies now. All right, let's go find those deer. Those, those should be the most difficult. And then I just have to find uh, what, what's on the survival instincts here. Oh, there's just a straight beam right there. Wait, this came back? Are you serious? Oh, 
So I could just farm that over and over? Well, wolves don't survive if you shoot them in the head either. Can I just get that? Alright, it's telling me to go down in there to... It's the flowers. Just need the seed pods now. Okay. So I guess I gotta go to like all the caves to get the, the flowers. And then I have to find some poor unsuspecting deer to shoot in the head. Well, two of them. Don't let it get away, Laura. Yes, they're here. Defending. Laura, I got something you'll want to hear. I'm patching you in. Bravo team is still MIA. We haven't got any transmissions since the distress call. We're gonna need to send a rescue party. Finish up your patrol around the Soviet installation. See if you can pick up the native girl's trail. She's involved in Bravo's disappearance somehow. We need better intel before we send more of you in there. Copy that. Can you get somewhere safe? I'm in one of those old safe houses, and I have stairs set outside. Worst case, there's a tunnel underneath I can use to escape, but I still need to finish going over the manifest. Is this normal for you, Laura? I'm not used to it. You know, people trying to kill me. I don't think it's something you can get used to. Just stay safe. What was he trying to accomplish? Oh, he just wanted me to loop him. That's what he wanted to do. I get it now. Yes, very action-packed right here. Oh, I need that tree. Actually, I don't need that tree. So cold. There should be more seed pods down here, right? Wait, wait, did I just walk right by some? No, I didn't. No, I did not. Okay, this should this should be good, right? Now I've just got to harvest the deer livers. And that'll probably be the last thing I do in this episode. The good healing is good. Can you just get up this? Oh my god. What a fail, what a fail. I guess I'm gonna have to go... Eh, you know what, I can get up over this way. Or not? Give me those deer. I don't... 
so far I, I'm not really liking this this uh, DLC. I mean the the hallucination part was pretty good, but going back to get this stuff to, to make the antitoxin or whatever. This is just whatevs. Okay, we got one deer, right? Oh, okay, they, they made a custom icon for the liver. Not if you're dead first. What was that? I heard something. Aha! There you are, Bambi! That chemical from Grandmother's notes? Phenothiazine. I think I found it. They stored it in the lower levels of the copper mill where they used it to deal with the termites in the summer. Are you sure it's the same chemical, Nadia? I'm sure it's the chemical grandmother's recipe mentioned, but I am not sure that it will be safe to drink. Suppose we'll find out. I'll head there now. They're sitting right here, right? But it, that doesn't really matter to me because I'm going to find out in the next episode. So leave a like, comment, or subscribe down below. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.